Hi, I'm John Gisette, and in this video we'll be exploring how you as an employee can use the time card approval system to request changes to your time card and also approve pay periods within the time card approval system. So here on the screen I've got the time card open for Chris Lynch and it's open to the current pay period. The previous pay period is shown over here on the right and you'll notice that on both pay periods all of the punches are underlined in blue. That indicates that those punches are punches that I can request an edit for. Historical, historical pay periods which show up on the second bar and also go away as you approve them do not allow any punch edits to be made. If you need to make a punch edit to one of those punches you need to request it manually through your manager and take it into payroll. Back here to the current pay period you'll notice that Chris is missing a punch here for the end of day also here and an entire afternoon segment right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start here and I'm going to enter in a punch edit request by clicking on that punch and I'll change that to be 9 p.m. and I'll just use a reason of missing punch and here I'll change this to be 6 p.m. missing punch but I've got a situation here because there's no punches for me to click on well that's where this green plus sign comes into play I go ahead and click on that plus sign and now I can enter a punch. So I'll enter 1 p.m. I know that Chris came back from lunch that day at 1 p.m. He's back on the clock. Missing punch. Now the system is taking care of the fact that all punch segments go in pairs and so it's added this missing right here to the screen which now you can click on to complete the day segment. So I'll move that to be 6 p.m missing punch. So there's the four punch edits that I've requested to my manager. Now that's going to show up in an email in the manager's Lotus Notes account. It's going to look like this. You can see it informs him that you've made these four requests and the reasons for those requests. It's up to your manager to go into Kronos and actually enter those punches into the system. Once done so, the next time you log into the time card approval system, these requests, which are currently shown in red, will have switched to blue. So that's how you make edit requests inside of the Kronos, or excuse me, inside of the time card approval system. Now I'm going to show you how to approve pay periods. So let's start with the historical pay periods with the oldest first. I'm going to click on that one and you'll see the little star indicating that I'm there and also notice that I can also tell that by the date over here in this column. Now this is pretty far in the past and so it, it should be a solid pay period so I'm going to go ahead and click approve knowing that I've already been paid for that. I go ahead and agree to this verbiage that is displayed on the screen and now you'll notice that that time period has gone away. That's the feature of the time card approval system and as you approve historical pay periods they will no longer be displayed in the system. So I'll choose this one next it all looks good. Approve. Agree. And now I'm down to one pay period on the second nav bar. Click that pay period. Review the punches. It looks good. Approve. Agree. And now all my historical pay periods have been removed from the system. I have one left here, which is the previous pay period. It's currently being displayed in blue. Now this pay period behaves just a little bit differently than the others because it will always remain here in the system. So we've given you some color indication that's available and you'll see that once I click approve that will tell you at a glance whether or not it's already been taken care of. So I don't need to make any edit requests to it. I'm going to go ahead and approve it. And you'll notice that now that pay period has gone green. And this is the state that we'd like all employees to maintain within the time card approval system where you have the previous pay period always in green which means it's been approved and the current pay period waiting for the pay period to end always shown in white. As this pay period completes it will move over to the previous pay period. The current pay period which is the new current pay period will now then be just shown in white and you will then have an opportunity to approve that period when it's over here. Because the previous pay period which you've approved here has already been approved, it will not show up on the second nav bar. 
the system will remain clean as shown in this state right here. So strive for that as you're working with this system. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions feel free to let either payroll or IT know.